Hey filmmakers, today I'm going to show you how to get that iconic black and white look with a pop of color, similar to what you see in the movies Sin City and Pleasantville. And I'm going to show you how you can do it all really easily in Final Cut Pro 10. Most of the magic happens in post-production during the edit, but if you want a really good final look, you need to do some pre-production work as well. If you really want your subject to pop, it's best to put them in a solid bright color and that'll make this effect work the easiest and the best. And you definitely don't want to deal with a bunch of patterns and other colors. Honestly, you can do this with any color. It doesn't matter. It can be blue, pink, purple, whatever. Finally, you need to choose the right location to shoot at. We were using a red dress, so I didn't want a bunch of red things in the background because when you're selecting just red to be saturated and there's a bunch of red things in the background, they also become saturated. So you have to do all this masking and it's just extra work. Once you've shot all your footage, it's time to make the real magic happen. So let's jump into Final Cut Pro 10 right now and I'll show you just how easy this is to do. Of course, the first thing you need to do is drop the clip into the timeline that you want to use. Next, click on the effects browser on the right and then click on color and then go ahead and drag and drop the color board right onto the clip. Now you can see that nothing has changed yet. So go up to the top right and when you hover over you can click on that mask icon and click add color mask. Once you've done that, again nothing has happened but you see that the little eyedropper is now blue. You want to go over to the area in your image that you want to be the color that is going to pop and stand out. So you want to click and drag a small little circle so that you select all the shades of that color and then release. Again, you haven't seen any change yet, but we have created a mask. And you can see that by, again, in the top right, clicking on View Masks. You can see the selection. It has selected a few other things, but we're gonna kind of clean that up so it's a cleaner selection. So I'm gonna click on that again to turn the View Masks part off. And then you want to click on Color Inspector to bring up the color board. And then under Mask, you can see Inside and Outside. On Inside, I want to go to Saturation now, and I'm gonna to go to my Shadows, and I'm actually gonna turn up the saturation of that Inside so that the dress pops just a little bit more. And then I'm going to go to the outside mask area, saturation of the entire master, and I'm going to bring it down to negative 100%. So it's completely black and white. Now you can see we've already accomplished the effect. But like I said, we want to clean up our selection just a little bit more. Go ahead and click back on the video inspector. And then we're going to click on view masks. And you can see these areas that it picked up that we don't want it to pick up. On the softness slider, we're actually going to turn that down so that it's only really picking up her dress and her lips because she had a really bright red lipstick on. Now it has a really clean selection of just the bright red dress and the background and her skin is all black and white. Now there are a bunch of cool things that you can do with this effect as well. If we go back to the color board and we go to the inside mask, we can actually change the color of the dress. I'm going to go to the master slider and I can start moving it around. So maybe I want her dress to be a really, really rich red or maybe I want it to be kind of pink or green <laughs> or blue, whatever color you want. You can drag it around. You can also see because I have her lips selected that they're turning blue. So that's something that you need to keep in mind. Like I was saying earlier, if you have anything in the background that's that same color as the subject is wearing, it's also going to get picked up and you'll have to do some extra masking if you don't want that to happen. You can affect just outside the mask as well. So if you want to color grade it, you know, a little bit different, you can get creative there as well. It's really as simple as that. You can do a lot of really cool things with this. If you wanna learn how to light and shoot better videos, hit subscribe right now. I have so many more videos coming out, shooting, editing, everything like that. All right, I'll see you in the next video.